Here's how to cut and edit your videos using the YouTube Studio Editor. You gotta just press record. First thing you wanna do is go into the YouTube Studio and then you're gonna go over to content. And from here, you wanna select the video that you are going to trim or cut something out of. Now we use this tool a lot, but we actually use it on our live stream. So I'm gonna go over to this live tab. And from here, you can actually scroll down, find the video you want to trim, and then you can hover over it like this. And you're gonna see some different options. We are gonna go into details once we're inside of this view all you need to do is go over here to the left you are going to see the editor tab we're going to select editor and now we have the video editor pulled up now there's a few options here first of all we have our trim and cut tool you also can blur out certain things if you forgot to blur something out like a street address or your house number you can do that later which is really cool and then you can also add in different audio tracks if you want to do that as well as add in your end screens and info cards here as well and then lastly we do have our ad breaks like i said we use the trim tool the most on live streams because typically when you're starting a live stream you don't know exactly when to start because you don't want to start too soon or too late however with this live stream the video starts right away with sean talking into the camera but there's kind of an awkward one to two seconds at the beginning that i want to trim out to trim the beginning of this video we're going to hover over this plus button from here we can trim the beginning or we can trim the end but because this is such a long live stream it's going to be a lot easier if you use the magnify tool and actually zoom in to the very beginning of this video now that i'm zoomed in this makes it way easier to trim it to exactly where i want it which is right before these audio waveforms which is when he starts talking to make sure that i like it i'm just going to go ahead and hit the preview button so let's talk about three websites that will help you get more views. Now there's no awkward pause and we get right into the video. Now let's say later in the live stream, there's a certain moment that we actually want to take completely out of the video. We can do that using the new cut tool. All you need to do is take this playhead, go over the part that you want it to start, and then you're going to hit new cut. So I'm going to zoom in now and I'm going to find the exact moment that I want to cut out and I'm going to hit the play button and then I'm going to skip forward 10 seconds or back 10 seconds to find this moment. So this is where I want to cut out this specific moment. I am now going to hit new cut. And then what I need to do is just drag the end of this red clip to the end of the part that I want to cut out. Then I can use the zoom in tool to really refine it exactly where I want it. And anything in this red section is going to be deleted from the actual video. Once you're happy with that section you want to cut out, all you need to do is hit this check mark and that is going to then cut it out from the video. Video. then all you need to do is go over to the save section and this is just going to give you some information because it tells you that it might take a few hours for your changes to apply so during that time viewers are still going to be able to see the current version of the video before you made any cuts or blurred out sections so you're not going to be able to make other changes to the video during this time while it is updating and also the original version of your video is going to be stored so that you can undo your edits if you want to go back and change your mind now if you want more details on how i used youtube shorts to blow up my brand new youtube channel to a thousand subscribers super fast in just nine days then click on the screen and i'll see you guys in the next video